Midway through the 22nd century, robots developed and maintained by the USS Corporation suddenly turned against humanity. They flooded the water supply with harmful nanites, sending most of the population into a coma-like state. These countless men, women, and children were loaded into transport shuttles and whisked away. No one knows where. No one knows why. More than a year has passed since the incident. Those who managed to evade the robot's clutches scavenge the now silent cities. Mechanized police and drones search relentlessly for any remaining signs of life. Even most domestic bots now report humans on sight. Under USS Corp's watchful eye, a new robotic civilization is emerging from the ashes of the old. In the face of encroaching extinction, the few who remain fight to survive, searching for the reason behind humanity's fate and clinging to the hope of better days ahead. There's no time, Em. Saw some cops down the block. Probably the neighborhood patrol. Have you got the list? No, but we know what we need. Vera was up all night. If we don't find something to break the fever, sooner or later, someone's gonna hear her crying. That's priority number one. Brian still isn't sleeping. And Alex's leg is making him even crankier than normal. We should find something for them, too. Definitely. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Let me know what you find. You got it. Damn it, just my luck. So, what have we got here? Have to find the manager's keycard first. Nope, not the time, Emily. I can't open the door. Not when it's blocked like this. We're not finished here. This isn't just any old supply run. We have to find something for Vera's fever. God, what I'd give to just charge it one last time. There's gotta be something for Vera's fever inside that case. 
The only way to find out for sure is to move that shelf. Somehow. Definitely not moving it on my own. Park, give me a hand over here. Sure thing. Cops will hear it. Need to find another way. Ideas? This thing's way too heavy for us to lift on our own. We might have better luck if we had some kind of lever. Let's take a look. Could be some tools I can use. Have to find the manager's key card first. Nice room. This thing was a relic even before the incident. So, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's not working. I bet that cable I found will work nicely here. Looks like a few parts are missing. This could show me something useful, if I can fix the rest. I can't get this open on my own. Maybe the fire alarm? Nope. Bad idea. That would bring a lot of unwanted guests. Whoa. Look at all those meds. No way I'm breaking down this door, though. I'll have to find a control panel. I'm guessing I can use the terminal to unlock the warehouse door. The hard part? I'll be getting it working again. It's alive. Nice work, Emily. So, what have we got here? Hmm. 
Surprise, out of order. This thing's been lying here for a long time. No good. Out of reach. Right. No power. Damn it, it's locked. But I'm guessing the key can't be too far away. Maybe inside the drugstore? Thanks, but I kind of like living. Right. No power. So comfy. Hey, little buddy. Why so quiet? No one to play with? Maybe Brian could hack the safe, but I'm not getting it open without a key. All the batteries have been placed. Fingers crossed. Power failure. Restarting the alarm system. Good. Park? Where are you? What the? The alarm. Disable it using the manager's computer. Damn. On the way. Quick! Just 
Wait, Harry Park? What the hell is he? This is getting bad. Again. Okay, this sucks. You all right, Em? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just need a sec. You sure the alarm will stay off? I guess. Anyway, it's off now. Just shout if you need me. Stupid fridge. I should try again. Suddenly I've got chills running down my spine. Yes! It worked! No good. Out of reach. No good. Out of reach. No good. Out of reach. I just hope Alex knows how to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 